Antibodies are Y-shaped proteins produced by our immune system after we are exposed to a disease-causing invader, such as bacteria or a virus. These proteins help the body remember the threat and be better prepared for the next encounter. Antibodies to the novel coronavirus recognize the virus's outer spike protein, enabling them to bind to the surface of the virus, preventing the virus particles from attaching to the host cell. Even if the virus successfully attaches, antibodies can prevent it from penetrating our cell membranes. If the virus still manages to enter the cell, antibodies can still prevent the virus from releasing its genome into the host cell for replication. Antibodies bound to the virus can also signal to other components of our immune system, targeting the virus for destruction. Scientists are trying to use antibodies both as a way to treat COVID-19 and prevent the disease from taking hold. Some researchers are studying antibodies taken from recovered COVID-19 patients, which could act as a medicine for the newly infected. One way is to simply transfer possible antibodies present in whole blood, called convalescent plasma. Another way is to isolate a specific antibody with potent antiviral properties and then produce this in bulk in the laboratory. These are known as monoclonal antibodies. Other scientists are focused on how the antibody interacts with coronavirus spike proteins, which may enable them to design a successful vaccine that instructs our bodies to generate effective antibodies against the virus. The long-term hope is that we might also be able to identify broadly neutralizing antibodies, a special type of antibody that could diffuse not just this specific viral strain, but also offshoots that occur because of natural mutations in the virus over time.